Hi guys, lost my voice. Sorry, I hope you can hear something. I'm trying to buy Riot here over 17. It's up 5%. About to go long over 17. Oh, too quick, too quick. I did not use a limit order. Sometimes I use limit orders when I see something popping up that quick. This time I used the market order. Got the bet fill 17.20. Well, Riot uh, moved up by 30 cents, but uh, my fill is at 17.20, so I'm down 10 cents. And now it became a bit spready. I'm selling 2,000 here, lowering the risk at a loss of uh, 10%, 10 cents. DY is down 5%. I'm about to short. Small side, it's a big stop loss, one and a half point, I believe. I'm short 1,000 shares. Looks fine. It's coming down the market too. Why it's not doing much? I'm thinking about reducing some more. I still have 200. 200. Oh my goodness, look at that. Never ever move out on a spike like this. Guys, this would be the 1000th time I'm saying this. Please hear me out. Never move out on a spike. Don't let something like that shake you out. It's more likely to return. I'm not trying to make any profit now, but if it returns to around 17, I'm going to take my 20 cents loss, but I'm not taking a 50 cent loss here. There's no reason to do that. Whenever you see a spike like that, it's like 99% of the time going to come back up. So this is why you never should have hard stops in the system. Never use hard stops and never move out on a spike. Don't get frightened. Don't leave. Don't get shaken out of a trade like that. I will say that 1,000 times times more until you guys remember that and I know that a lot of you are using hard stops that's the wrong reason that's the wrong thing to do okay I was waiting for Riot to come back up I did not expect to have a winner I'm about to sell my last 2,000 shares now at a, at a loss at a loss I sold it at a loss but uh, definitely not the loss you're seeing down there and again let me just repeat that one more time, excuse me. Never move out on a spike. Never move out on a spike. I don't know if Riot's going to continue higher. In my opinion now, it's not important. It did not do what I expected it to do, so I took a small loss. Maybe it's going to move over the highs, but it did not really do my stand to my expectations. So I'm out, and that's the way it should be. Well, I'm having bad time today, as you can see here. DY is down. I'm down more than two grand here. Although it was small size, well, I need to leave. I'm out. Although it was uh, sm relatively small size, I was expecting it to be very volatile today, but um, I should probably have taken less loss there. I love EXP. It's going to be my third and last trade, especially if uh, it's going to be a loser. I never lose more now. Just moved under 103. I'm short 1,000 shares. It's a big mover. I never lose more than three trades. So if I have a third losing trade, I'm always out. EXP is doing great. I'm glad it's not my third. My third loser, I mean. Covered 800 shares. Finally, I have a winner, two losers, one winner. Well, as you noticed, I'm not doing very well. DY is down more than two grand. My only winner is EXP and Riot, uh, relatively small losers. Just 47 minutes into the trading day, I lost my voice and I lost my money today. Down $2,300. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Thank you for watching my video. Do you have what it takes to become a trader? I would like to invite you to take my free trading challenge. If you succeed, I will fund you. You will get free access to a $14,000 trading account which you can trade from home and earn 70% of the profits you generate. No risk, no cost. Just click here and join now. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel here. If you have any questions, please use the comments below.